Yo, and welcome to this simple explanation guide. This is part two of a two-part series explaining the Festival of the Four Winds, considering it's basically two events that happen in two different locations. The first one happened in Crown Pavilion. I'll post a link to the video up right now up in the corner if you want to know about what you do there. This is for the other half explaining what you do at Labyrinthine Cliffs. I'm going to show you the event that happens on a set timer, the few other events that occur that you can also just do at your own leisure, and the things that you can like spend your festival tokens on, and the things that you can do here. Now, when you first logged in or during the event, you should have been given an item that will teleport you here. But let's just say you don't have it, or you've thrown it away, or whatever reason, and you don't know how to get to the location. Well. I will show you the, the easiest way that I know of, if you don't have the item, to get to the cliffs. So here we are at Divinity's Reach, similar to where we actually go into the Crown Pavilion, you know, this waypoint here. But instead of going in, if you want to go to Labyrinthine Cliffs and you don't have the item to do so, you can just go up here. In this, per this little balloon, you talk to one of these people. And you can say, I would like to go to Labyrinthine Cliffs. Um, if you see this icon, they exist all over the map in all a bunch of different places. You can talk to them and they'll take you to either one of those, either to this event here or the Labyrinthine Cliffs. So we're going to take it and we're going to go to Labyrinthine Cliffs. Or Labyrinthian Cliffs, rather. So here we are, a Labyrinthian Cliffs. You'll see there's a bunch of people here. This is one of the other event areas. And the interesting thing about this area is that there's a lot of things to trade. Uh, th these certain traders want certain items, like nine ecto, two piles of dust, nine watchword sprockets, so you can get these Zephyrite boxes, and you can see what's inside it. There's some skins, you know, there's these, you get a whole bunch of different stuff. Um, you get some super rare things like a crystal infusion, the heart of the Conner, uh, the monocle, um, yeah, just a bunch of like just different the chalk infusion all the infusions basically so like there's a re there is a reason to get the Zephyrite supply boxes um, but They're account bound so you can't sell them so you're just rolling on them for yourself Basically what the event is is a giant event to funnel away resources Basically, this is a, a sink for all these lower tier mats to give value to these mats again later So this is a giant sink for for this stuff um, yeah, you just trade, again, all different bunch of materials, different amounts of different qualities. And you can roll on the boxes if you want to really try to get some of those really, really rare things. Um, there's also, like, other merchants here which sell upgraded versions of previous weapons. So if you do the dailies and you unlock the skins, you can come here and spend a little bit of money to get an even fancier version of it. Like, this normal version looks normal but doesn't have the glow, but this, this special edition has like a glow to it. So, yeah, that's something you can do if you want to keep adding to the skins. That's traditional for every festival. They add weapons and then they add upgraded versions of the weapons if you have them. Uh, this guy has like three just very unique uh, skins. You just need a bunch of stuff. It's not really too bad. 4,000, yeah, it's really not that bad. I could get all of these easy. You know what? You know what? Just for the sake of the video. Boom. 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 Look at that. I just unlocked three new skins for my account. Never going to use this. I'll probably just salvage them out. Never going to need them. But hey, new skins. Um, but yeah, uh, there's a bunch of things like that you can do. Uh, you can get your bunch of crystal, your quartz crystal here. So that was a good time to farm some crystal when you're here. And that's basically the normal amount of things. There's a bunch of achievements you can do here, like finding crystals, doing these other things. There's a bunch of different stuff. And if you want a cool thing here is if you don't have a mount or don't have Path of Fire, you can actually talk to uh, these rentals and pay some Quicksilver. And you can just borrow one of their mounts. I mean, I'm just going to use my skin because I have. Um, yeah, see, Summoner Raptor. It's cool. But, yeah, so you can even rent mounts if you want to try them out and you don't have access to them, so that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, and the, the, the map is fairly big. There's a bunch of things, you know, you can go all the way up and explore and do stuff. But the real question is like, okay, I get it. This is where I go to, to turn things in. Is there any quests or events or anything that goes on here that I can do? And the answer is yes. 
Um, as you can see, there's quite a lot of the, see this little icon with the guy with the little cape? These are adventures. Uh, some are for Griffin, some of them um, are a race with your skimmer. Um, there's a whole bunch of different ones. Um, there's even one where you race as a yak. It literally turns you into a yak and you race. Look, ma, I'm a doll yak. Yeah, run. My people need me. Along with the Dollyak race and the skimmer race, we also have a griffin course that you can do as well. But it's pretty crazy. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. The main thing here though is the meta event that happens that you can only do when it actually occurs. It occurs every two hours at XX30. So like for me, it's gonna happen in 30 minutes, so 10.30. And then it will happen again at 12.30. And it'll happen again at 2.30, etc, etc. That event is known as the Treasure Hunt meta event. And it's very, very similar, if not pretty much the exact same thing in practice, as collecting the coins down in the casino, the casino blitz down in Path of Fire. Same general idea. I will show you that event as soon as it pops up which, thanks to the magic of editing, is right now. Within the last five minutes, you'll have a timer that starts that tells you that it's actually starting. So at first it hits the 1030 or the XX30 when it's supposed to start, then a five minute countdown begins to actually let you know. All right, and then the event begins. So, uh, similar to how it is in the casino, like I said earlier, the goal is just to collect bundles of loot. You can just you can use other mounts, which is obviously the fastest way to do it, but you can also technically use the crystal abilities if you want. But, um, yeah, so, also, very similar to the casino, there's three phases of this bundle of loot gathering, where uh, there's three different parts that take place on three different parts of the island, and there's always a community goal. So, like, right now, we need to get 500. We look, we already got more than 500, so... I mean, we were already done. Like, we already succeeded in the first phase. Now, why do I keep doing it, you'd say? Well, just like the coins in the casino, these individual bundles can be redeemed, so you want them for yourself. So you just go around, you know, just collect your bundles, you know? I don't know how hardcore you want to be. I'm a very casual at this. You know, I mean, I'm not doing nothing, but, like, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna break my back, you know what I mean? It's not a big deal, it's a pretty casual event. It's not meant to be hard, just meant to be fun. Um, you're pretty much always gonna succeed as long as you're on a map that is here when it starts. Uh, you could come later, technically, but like you're gonna, it, it doesn't scale, it's always this way. So it's always gonna be the three requirements. And although if the first requirement is only 500, it's gonna get a little more tricky. Not anything challenging, but it'd be way too hard to do by yourself. I don't even think you could do it by yourself. If I think about it, there might not even be enough uh, loot bags for one individual to do it. So I don't even think, even if you were like max speed and you could get them all, I don't think you could actually do it. But, um, so yeah. So there's these, so it's just that. It's just do these three things, the three phases. And then at the end, if we succeed in all three phases, there is a little boss event of a monster that you kill and you throw water balloons at it. Um, and I will show you that as soon as the three phases end. So I'm going to stop here and I'll cut back to us uh, fighting a friggin' whatever it is, a fire effigy? Yeah, I'll cut to the fire effigy. Let's go. All right, and then here we go. So the way this works is you basically take your water, your water balloons, and you throw it. You can only hurt them with water balloons. So water balloons are, this is it. This is the primary way to defeat them. And we have to get to them before he gets all the way to the end. Or are we gonna lose? And that's not good. But very rarely does that happen. It can, but it's very, very rare. I don't think it's happened once. And again, if you're here on a map that is at the start, when it starts, you'll be fine. Again, these events aren't meant to be challenging. Uh, these are just meant to be fun. It's a festival. You know, we're just having some fun, doing wacky, out-of-the-box things. 
uh, fighting in ways you wouldn't normally do. <laughs> he's, wigging, he's wigging out. He's wigging out. He doesn't know what to do. He's so confused. He, he's so conflicted. Oh man, he hated that, huh? <laughs> and he's dead. Da -da 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 there you go. And you just get a metric crap ton of the festival tokens. And there you go. Now, you might ask, um, so what was the point of those chests? I mean, the bags of loot? The bundles of loot during the collection? Well, you go down, you go all the way down to the bottom. And right over here, with this little icon, is the reward person. So you can trade in the things you just got for just flat out loot either one of these or you can save up if you need a thousand if you want to get the mini i already have the mini but i don't have these kites so i'm going to get these kites so here like i'll buy one one of my kites to get one of my new kites and then you know we have just enough you can we'll, we'll get one of each perfect now so we got a kite which i'm just going to add to my account boom perfect um Oh, we got another one. One of the bags just went instantly into my collection of bags down here, so that I can't even look. And then a large bag of booty. Yeah, scrap. Junk. Basically junk. So, once you, basically what you'll do is, once you have all the... If, if you want the account stuff, you go for the account stuff first. If you don't really care for any of that, then you'd probably... The best, wisest choice would just be the embroidered coin purses. And just cash them in for as many champion things as you can get. The large bag of booty didn't seem that very uh, useful. <laughs> That's just basically to get rid of whatever's left if you don't have 50, you know what I mean? Also, one thing you can do, if you really want to, you can consume these and it just gives you a little bit of experience. Not worth, though. I wouldn't do it. So there you go. That's the event. And it's pretty, it's really that simple. Um, you can do that treasure hunt one every, like, two hours. Uh, there's actually a... What I would recommend is going to type in slash wiki and check out the event or find the timer. Like a very good thing is here. This is the timer and it will tell you like if you want to do the skimmer race, you can normally do it at any time like an adventure. But if you want to do the race, it happens then, you know, the next and in, in two hours, the doylak race will happen. Um, so, yeah. Or you see how it is. This this mark will tell you when it's coming up, so you can just watch this and it will tell you. That's that's how I do it. That's how I figure it out, and then I just go whenever. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for all the likes. Thank you for all the subscribes. We're almost we're we're getting up there, you guys. We're at 700 now. We're getting close to 1k. That's awesome. So seriously, thank you guys very much. I really do appreciate it. Stay super, everyone. Enjoy the festival. The four wins. I'll be back later with another guide. Till then, stay super.